a lot of things can happen in one year and Zovan is the best example of that. So let's see what he has to say. Zovan, do you still remember your first impression of the Wiener Kreuzberg? Yes, I think it wasn't just a first impression. I think it was like the first feeling over the over the, the, the first few days, which was that a lot was kind of new. I mean, I worked in an agency before, but even though, even so, the, the difference was quite big between um, the agency I worked in before and this one, especially because um, I was given a lot of time to settle in and that was really new. <laughs> that was really surprising, but also gave me the time to actually get to know Turbina's structure and um, yeah, insights before going into projects. That really makes me want to know what were your expectations in the beginning? Well, to um, join the company and as soon as possible hit the ground running, getting into a project and going from there, seeing where I am, which again, yeah, wouldn't have been surprising in an agency, but um, yeah, the fact that I could shadow a lot and um, talk to the people in, in my team, the, the Scrum Masters and ACs, a lot helped, especially when it comes to orienting yourself inside a company which is rapidly growing and where you quickly um, lose the, the kind of overview when you're new in this, in this um, environment. That's actually great insight. So I can imagine that a lot has happened since, since a year past. So can you give us like an overview of what you've been up to in during this year? Um, quite a lot of things, to be honest, um, which I really enjoy because obviously we are an agency, so we, we are working with external customers and therefore I'm involved in projects, working together with the customers. However, I've also seen a lot changing on the insights because we are growing. So we need to grow internally as well to, to keep the the structure um, healthy and there I've been involved with, for example, implementing um, the whole new team, a whole new team and helping um, that team starting from the, from the beginning, the learning and development team, which I'm really happy about because it shows that the company also is interested in um, developing the people and not just having them there to do the job. And also the fact that I'm able to to help shape how we are growing. So when we as, as ACs or Scrum Master see something which doesn't work or processes that maybe are outdated, we can actually, or we actually do um, point that out. And then together with um, whatever team is responsible for that, we are looking for a solution. Given your answers, I can assume that it was as enjoyable for you, but it was for us during this last year to have been working together. So. My question would be, what factors do you appreciate the most that you found in the Kreisberg? Mm, I think one thing is definitely the, the influence we can have on the, on the company, on the direction we are going and how we want to grow, but also that we are able to, to pinpoint out problems, to talk about them openly and to make sure we, we learn from um, issues that we had in the past, as well as sometimes just pitching crazy ideas and things are evolving from there. <laughs> that pitching crazy ideas, I would really like to go a little bit deep into that because we have an entire week to do so. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Exactly, exactly. Um, last year, I unfortunately started a bit late for that. So I just got to hear all the nice stories without being there. Um, but that just grew my excitement for, for this year's breakout week and it did not disappoint. A lot of cool things were presented. I got to join an internal class um, given by our senior developers to teach us non-devs some coding. <laughs> um, and it was really, really nice to, to get the kind of thinking process behind it, which is something that you don't really do if, if you've never been in that area. Um, but also just being together with everyone um, in Berlin 
and I got to to meet some people from my teams for the very first time, and it was a really nice um, chance to just have a lot of one-on-one -on -one talks, get their experiences, their kind of views on the project, but also on the company, and just learn from that experience from all the people that have been there already before me and have grown with it for an even longer time. I really enjoyed that. So what you're telling us is that we can expect Zorin, the developer, to come in soon. Is that what we can expect? Um, the amateur developer, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> so Zorin, thank you very much. It has been a lovely year and a lovely conversation, and I hope to see you around. Yeah, hopefully soon in person again. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> See ya. Thank you.